Hello my dear viewers, I am Anitra Adi and you are watching my channel Level Up For You. Nowadays, everybody thinks that this is impossible for just a single person to change, to make a change. However, Malala Yusuf Zai, a girl who has fought for girl education and is and is the youngest Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Wow, and she has a very inspiring and amazing life story. To know her inspiring life story, stay connected with me till end. And at last, if you think this video is worth it, and don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon too. So let's get started. largest cities in Swatwell, Pakistan. She is the daughter of Zuadin and Tor Pikai Yusef Zai and has two younger brothers. She loved going to school but everything changed when the Taliban took over her on her village in, in Pakistan. They banned many things like buying a TV and playing music and they gave very hard punishments or harsh punish punishments on whom, on whom or the people who refused to obey their orders. They even told that girls will, will no longer go to school. In 2008, January, Malala said goodbye to her classmates and didn't know when they will meet again or did will they ever meet again. In 2012, she gave, she gave a public speech on girls' education and the right of girls' educating and this made her a target. Once when she was going home from the school in, in a school bus or in her school bus then a masked gunman surrounded the school bus and asked at who is Malala and shot her in the left part of the head. After 10 days she woke up in a hospital in Belgrahim England and the doctors and nurses told her about the attack and said that all people around the world are praying for her recovery. 2014 after months of surgeries and re rehabilitation Malala again joined her family in, the, in a new home in UK. Now she had a choice to live a quick life or make more of her new life. She decided that she would fight until each and every girl in the world could go to school with her father who, who has always been her ally and inspiration. She started the Malala Fund which is charity dedicated and gives an opportunity to girls to girls to get the future which she chooses or which the girl chooses for this act of her she got the Nobel Peace Prize in December 2014 and she became the youngest Nobel Prize laureate she was studying philosophy politics and economics in Oxford University and fought for a, a for a girl she fought for that a girl should get a 12 year free safe and quality education and she roamed around all around the world and met girl 
girls who are fighting poverty gender discrimination child marriage etc to go to school the malala fund is working working on stories of other people like her so that they could they could also be heard all around the world they invest on developing country developing country educators and activists like her father through malala funds education champion network and hold personalities which are accountable to her promise to the girls in 2020 she graduated from the oxford university she invests or treasures her time in lady margaret hall a club meeting lecture and balls and late night she has spent her last months as a university student in her parents house and she is very glad that she has completed her education and and after relaxing some time now she is more ready to fight for the girls with about 130 million girls still out of the school there is more work to be done she hopes that all people around the world will help her to help her in in her work of equality and or we should say gender equality she wants to make a future in which girls can also learn and live with these lines i i would like to end this video so if you have enjoyed this inspiring story then don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon too it's very important and give your valuable comments in the comment section so it's all for today till then goodbye